Buongiorno, welcome back to the Italian campaign. It is now June 1927, and um, I thought I was recording, but apparently something happened and I wasn't. So what has happened is that we are now at war with Spain. You haven't missed much, you missed one DD battle and one large, uh, larger fleet engagement versus this fleet here, which is now in Barcelona being repaired after that battle it wasn't very um uh, like decisive it was a night battle and um they had too much stuff for me to get closer so accuracy uh wasn't great i kind of had to stay at max range so they're all being repaired i think i sunk some cruisers and uh, some dds and that was it now War with Spain, yes. France is also at war with Spain. To uh, to get that war going, I had to alternate between uh, increasing tension with Spain and improving relations with France, because France and Spain were at the verge of war before, uh, before Spain uh, declared on me. France is now invading southern Spain. So that gives me uh, kind of a time crunch. I initially wanted to invade Morocco and Western Sahara first. But yeah, I just have to try and get Southern Spain before France does. That's the thing. We are building some ships. Uh, some of the ones we uh, designed in the previous episode. The three new battleships are under construction. The new light cruisers are being commissioned already. The new heavy cruisers are almost finished. And the new battle cruisers uh, are going to have to be uh, a while yet. I had to delay uh, the construction start on these because I was running out of uh, shipbuilding capacity. Also building a battleship for Australia, which is our new ally. They bought a uh, Dino class. And I designed some new DDs. These are just uh, improved copies of the Euro class, so nothing special really. They got better torpedoes. I had to reduce their um, gun firepower a bit to make it work with displacement, so they got shorter guns than uh, the Euro class and um, less advanced reloading systems. So they got enhanced reloading instead of semi automatic reloading. More, uh, more torpedo focused, basically. Now, politics. Just gonna check what's going on here. Yeah, they got one light cruiser being active because all, all the rest of the stuff they have is uh, <laughs> being repaired. And their ships are not bad. Their battleships are kind of fragile, but they've got twelve. 15 inch guns, Mark II's, but still 12 15 inch guns each. Uh, their battle cruisers are um, all floating bricks of armor, actually slower than their battleships. The United States, uh, a couple of months ago, they researched um, Stereoscopic Rangefinder 5, which is still a couple months out. Uh, it's one month out for us. So they are a bit ahead of us in terms of uh, getting radar. I think Britain should also be ahead of us. They've got um, very advanced technology. So Britain will probably be the first one to get radar in this campaign. Central Balkans, my army finally took it. And uh, lots of stuff going on in, in Africa. Southern Algeria uh, rebelled from France is now independent Spain is trying to take it they probably will take it our uh, invasion of Morocco might actually work out I think it's actually going to work uh, that would be great if it did our naval invasion of southern Spain <laughs> requires 528,000 tons I've sent my battlecruisers uh, here also 
add some more tonnage, but I don't think the uh, invasion chance to succeed is going to be that high, but we can hope it works. It's got three months remaining. Now, let's go to uh, July and see what happens. Now, Spain didn't have much of a navy to begin with, so this is mostly going to be a land grab kind of uh, war. But I'm hoping it's going to bring us a little bit closer to being at war with Britain, because uh, that's a nation that would be fun to fight, I think. There we go, invasion. Uh, strike, I mean. Sank one transport. That's fine. Stereoscopic rangefinder 5. Uh, Sweden wants to buy one of my new uh, DDs. Okay. The United States is trying to provoke me. That's not nice. 27%. Why did you guys join together? I didn't want you to join together. Let's see. Perla, San Antonio. class are you? Zara Zara and Zara this is just uh, invasion weight basically we've got a convoy battle Venezia class light cruisers that's one of the new ones accompanied by a bunch of DDs. We're gonna try and sink some uh, some Spanish ships and 13 transports. And yes, I did check that I am in fact recording this time. Which is uh, which is kind of important if you want to make a YouTube video. It doesn't work if you're not recording anything. Top tip. Let's see, four DDs are all in a line. Well, not quite in a line. What if I just detach you and then attach you to that? There we go. Isn't that better? Mm, not sure if I'm going to actively use my DDs here or just let the Partenope um, deal with it. Isn't that the name that was uh, one of my uh, early heavy cruisers? I think it was. Well, she's been scrapped by now. She was kind of obsolete. Let's uh, get a look at our new ship. Well, apart from the kind of boring uh, default towers, it's not a bad looking boat, really. Looks very sleek and modern. Like so. It can be our thumbnail. I think we should be able to um, take this on. That's one of their uh, DDs. Not a lot of torpedo range. That's a light cruiser. It's kind of um, kind of old. I think Partenope should be able to deal with this. We're firing AP at the DD, which is perfect because we got semi ballistic. Bring the DDs in now. To hopefully be able to score some hits. What kind of gun range do these uh, light cruisers have? Well, we are technically in range. I 
My torpedoes are going out. There we go, that's one uh, DD about to uh, die. That's a light cruiser. What are you guys doing now? It's going to be risky trying to launch torpedoes um, with these guys suddenly not being in line. So I just have to activate torpedoes on on these two. And wait for uh, the last two to actually uh, get information. I eat torpedoes. My own torpedoes. That's nice. What's that, my own torpedoes? Yeah, that was my own torpedoes. It would be so nice if you could just stay in that line you were sailing at to begin with and not mess things up Carabinieri Oh for freak's sake Yeah, are you also going to eat your own torpedoes? You muppets. Yeah, uh, I'm just going to detach all of you guys. So, uh... And just send you home so you don't cause any more trouble. You can outsail these torps. Like, what are you even targeting? So these are the new DDs that are more torpedo focused. I'm not sure if uh, torpedo focused DDs are even a good idea. <laughs> when they're uh, this bad at keeping formation. And of course the Partenope switched fire to some transports instead of uh, <laughs> concentrating on the light cruisers. So. Uh, Everything is going fine. Luckily my DD didn't take too much damage from uh, those torpedoes. And those were big torpedoes too. What did I arm these guys with? Yeah, you got... Um, 23 inch torpedoes. No torpedo heads on the light cruisers though, which is uh, what I wanted to hit. Because these do have some halfway decent armor. They are very slow for light cruisers, but they are kind of hard to kill. Yeah, I cannot pen them with my semi-AP. Uh, 
Let's uh, kill this guy first. He's taking the most damage. Can I assemble these guys into a new uh, division? Yeah, I think so. I think I can. All of you torpedoes off. And just try and reform a new line. So we can try and torp those light cruisers when, uh, when our torpedoes are reloaded. Alternatively, I could just ignore the light cruisers and kill the transports. It could work too. Let's see, Partenopa has her own torpedoes, 24 inch. They're kind of slow though. But there they go. Might hit something. Could actually hit Don Juan. It should do massive amounts of damage if they hit. actually hit their uh, intended target. Yeah, this is looking good. Well, it was a hit. It just didn't do anything. It was a dud. Our guns are kind of picking it apart. It's just... Uh, not super effective. Now what sort of shenanigans will you guys be up to? Actually scoring some flooding damage. Yeah. One down. Don Juan being the last of the Austrian, uh, no, not Austrian, Spanish, despite the name. Let's see. So far, no uh, weird formation shenanigans. And the DDs are catching up. You also have your own torpedoes. Uh, you did. Did you launch? Or did you uh, just have them blow up? I think they blew up because uh, I lost all of them on both sides. Aggressive launch. There we go. All torpedoes are in the water. None of them are heading for my own ships. Which is a uh, big improvement <laughs> over the previous torpedo run. And 
they're actually heading in the right direction of the enemy light cruiser as well. It's going to be hard for uh, it to dodge all of this hurt coming its way. Let's see. But that doesn't mean I'm going to score any hits. So far, it actually does not look like I'm going to score any hits. So she did dodge all of it. Oh well. Out of torpedoes, but I think the guns are going to get this. Yeah, decent belt armor all around. But with the structure taken down this far, it is possible to flood it out. So let's just get in and um, get ready to slaughter some transports. Oh, a dead torpedo hit on a uh, transport. Now it's killing time. These are pretty big transports too, 15,000 tons. Now this class of light cruiser doesn't have quite as many uh, three inch secondaries as some other classes. Just didn't have the displacement for it. don't need that many 3-inch guns to kill transports. And that's... oh, two left. That's nice. Yeah, good job, Partenopa. Didis, mm, not so much. Yep. Now that should leave Spain with zero active navy. No, they still have one light cruiser somewhere. Who knows where? In port still? No, here it is. It's making its way out. So... Do I have any light cruisers nearby? I have some uh, DDs here. And here. Let's see, Mogadishu and Djibouti. You're gonna go on sea control. You're also gonna go on sea control. And hopefully intercept that light cruiser and kill it. Now should this be enough to actually blockade Spain? It would be fun if that was the case or ruin their army logistics. They have one light cruiser and still army logistics 100%. Mm, sure thing. Str 
Reich. Two transports sunk. Advanced electrohydraulic turrets. Sweden wants to buy more DDs. Australia wants to buy some DDs. Fine. France initiates another advance here. The previous one was uh, stopped. 25%. Okay, so one in four chance of this uh, being successful. All right. Still have an army logistics of 100%. Also, the British researched uh, fully automatic gun reload. And they're building a bunch of stuff. So, fully automatic gun reload. That's quite ahead of us, I think. Unless that's the next technology we're going for. But that's quite refreshing. I don't know if that's because of the mod. Or simply uh, a... Um, 1.5 version of the game kind of thing where the AI actually does a pretty good job researching stuff I think it's uh, tied to their um, economic bonuses playing on legendary so okay Ooh, kind of dropped in transport capacity here let's uh, boost that up a bit even if it's causing me money gonna get that back up to 200% and uh not too long a time. Yeah, I think it's tied to their having very high GDP overall. And possibly some other bonuses. But yeah, the AI is doing a good job not lagging behind in technology. In my previous campaigns, as some of you might remember, I had to edit the save file uh, every couple of years to give the AI more technology so they wouldn't lag behind too much. But now they're actually the ones being um, advanced and very advanced. And I'm at average. Which is nice. It makes legendary difficulty uh, not such a uh, pushover as it used to be. 29% advance into Morocco. Would be nice if we could get it. That would be very nice indeed. Let's go to September and see if uh, this is going to succeed. One in four chance. Let's cross our fingers. What do you know? Looks like... <laughs> yeah, one in four chance. It's... Um, yeah, it worked. Strike. And some uh, random pop-ups. Yeah, we took southern Spain, guys. One battleship. Where did the rest of their fleet go? It was uh, magically teleported to other ports. Because a bunch of heavily damaged battleships uh, just... Uh, I don't know how to explain that, but they're uh, not in the port anymore because Barcelona is now mine. It's too bad I couldn't... Uh, too bad the game wouldn't just give me Barcelona. Perla and San Antonio, you're going to intercept this uh, lone battleship. We're going to just uh, trust the army to take... Morocco invasion barge fleet you think western Spain or northern Spain next I'm actually thinking northern Spain and why do I think that uh, port capacity not as it's actually higher than Western Spain but if I take northern Spain and Spain dissolves that means the French armies cannot just zoom in 
and take the leftover uh, countries, regions. place these here and my actual battleship fleet we're gonna try and take Canary Islands I think we are and we're just gonna let uh, France take Cameroon which yeah they're gonna they're gonna take that any um, any second now couple of turns at most but that's okay that is okay I can drop this down a bit 1% would be enough to bring us up to 200 turret mechanisms what is we getting advanced triple turrets yes nice very nice All right, October, and I am now blockading Spain, which is nice. Dissatisfied pacifists. Uh, plus two unrest, minus two naval prestige, minus four hundred and eighty million. I can afford that, or minus two point four billion to improve my relations with a bunch of nations I want to go to war with sooner or later anyway mm, yeah here we go Suprema of the Farnese class brand new heavy cruiser a couple of Indomito class light cruisers fighting off a heavy and a light protecting four transports let's go Are we going to let Suprema do this alone and just not worry about the DDs that are far behind? I think we are. Retreat. Maybe, um... Maybe this can be the uh, thumbnail. It's a nicer looking ship. Yeah, I think this can be the thumbnail. Because this has an actual uh, specific Italian tower, not a uh, not a default tower, so it looks cooler. spot the enemy first and are they running away we're getting closer there they are what is uh, this ship we are fighting that's a uh, that's a light cruiser now our own light cruiser had um, Difficulties sinking the enemy light cruisers. But this guy has more than enough pen. And uh, killing this light cruiser would be a pretty quick and easy uh, job. Well, it's hiding in smoke now. So. kilometers what's my pen here 5.6 inches over pen engine damage there we go some flooding You 
are trying to uh, run away a little bit, aren't you? Light cruiser visible. We're gonna APU. Not in torpedo range. There we go. Very effective. And it's gone. Well, let's actually transport. Let's um, save the transports for last. Guess we can uh, set our secondaries to work once we get closer. And in the meantime, just focus on that heavy cruiser. It's a little bit cooler when you can see it firing than just sailing along. And with the wreck of the enemy light cruiser in the background, that should make for a uh, a little bit more exciting thumbnail. Take a look at this heavy cruiser. Oh, I accidentally hit the transport. Doesn't look too terrible. Oh, okay. It kind of looks a little bit terrible. It's got six 10.5 guns, all forward. And that's it. No secondaries. Don't know what kind of armor. Secondaries on transport. There we go. And 5.8 main belt, 2 inch all over the rest of the ship. That's a reasonable armor scheme. It's actually a very reasonable armor scheme. Just not thick enough to resist my uh, Mark IV 9 inch guns. At 8 kilometers. Yeah, no, I go straight through. Yeah, Suprema! Being quite supreme here. San Tomas de Aquino going down. to uh, 4.2 inch guns. Surrendered, actually. Do you guys have armor or something? No, you don't. And the last transport. Should not live long. 14 knots, that's a decent speed for a transport. Usually they're just um, plodding along at 10 or 11 knots at most. Yeah, that's what I call a perfect victory. Two crew losses, must have fallen overboard. Lost three transport in Western Mediterranean. Okay. 
didn't get a battle with the battleship. Now Spain, what kind of, uh, still 100%. I wonder how. Let's see, naval invasion. Northern Spain, 460,000 tons. Okay. But first, I want to try and um, intercept this freaking battleship here. And my army is, ah, they're not going to be able to take Western Spain. Not unless I can uh, push their... Um, army logistics down. And this light cruiser has gone all around. I guess we're gonna move these up here to add to the uh, invasion. That's 209,000 tons. 236,000 tons. And with this, we should have enough for the invasion. No matter where it shows up. It's gonna be one of these two ports. Any new ships ready? Uh, yeah, the Farnese class in Livorno. They are ready. We just played with one of them. Uh, Suprema. Yeah, it's going to have one month to repair. And then we can uh, bring these in also. And that's another uh, 63,000 tons. All right. Yeah, let's go on to November. We are winning. All right. I know we're winning. Okay, that was a strike. Two transports, Western Mediterranean. We have a strike here. Okay. Actually, protecting the port. So we're gonna get an actual battle versus this battleship. And all we have, well, we've got DDs, we've got heavy cruisers, we've got even got a light cruiser. So let's fight a Spanish battleship with none of our own uh, capital ships being present. But the thing is, from that episode that you didn't see, where I uh, wasn't recording, I do know something about these uh, Spanish battleships. They got very good firepower. That's for sure. Their armor is not that amazing. Uh, Partenope, you can actually just um, get out. Well, they got decent, um, decent main belt armor. Their deck armor and extended belt armor is not that decent. That's not to say I'm gonna take this lightly. Because, yeah, 12, 15.3 inch guns.
actually. It's going to be my third attempt at taking a... Uh, thumbnail picture. But it's a little bit more dramatic, isn't it? With the weather and, uh, you know, the guns going off. main tower. If we could destroy the main tower... Let's actually give you a look at this um, Spanish battleship. It's not half bad, really. Some wonky secondary turret things going on, but it's not half bad. In fact, with the lightning in the background, I've tried to get thumbnails with the lightning strike in the background before, but I've never been able to time it right, but this time by accident. So, we're gonna see what I end up choosing. Well, you're gonna see when you click on the video, so you already know by this point. There we go, scoring some uh, main deck penetrations. We're loading AP now. This battleship should be having uh, problems with damage instability. It's going to hit on Paula. before I launch. They're actually staying in formation. Incredible. Their guns are doing um, decent work. See, it's now identified. I'll bring you in for a closer look again. Yeah, I got minus 50 damage instability. Mark II, 15 inch. 12 of them. Quartite 1 and Pacric Acid, so it's uh, potentially quite explosive. But here you see the armor, and that's the uh, that's the Achilles heel of this ship. It's a ship made of, uh, well, mostly Achilles heels. It's got a decent main belt, or well, half decent. 9.4 inch is not amazing, but it's not terrible. But 0.4 inch everywhere else. Well, the turrets are uh, decently armored. Are you suffering? You are, um, I didn't 
intend for you to take that hit. Your torpedoes are now in the water. And I just hope I don't end up eating my own torpedoes here. Kilometers. Not quite enough to go through the main belt. Actually, let's go AP on the secondaries. Uh, Carabinieri went down. my torpedoes looking. Uh, might get some hits. But also I should really uh, try to avoid those hits being on my own ships. is coming to an end. Oof. But so is almost Pola's uh, Mediterranean cruise. That was quite the hit. So she's not going to be ready to... Uh, <laughs> take part in any naval invasions anytime soon, but at least she's alive. And we sunk a, uh, a battleship that, to be fair, not that much more expensive than my heavy cruisers. Alright. Naval invasion. 460,000 tons. Let's actually uh, get these ships into that zone. I got another light cruiser here. Battle cruiser, two light cruisers. In fact, I will need the Donzella class battlecruisers to deal with you because I know that battlecruiser has a lot of armor. You are going here, Livorno. Yeah, Pola gonna need five months repair. Forty-five percent, zero. Spain. Army logistics, ooh, dropped down to 95%. That's doing something, at least. What kind of big guns are we getting? Mark 317s. Not really that interesting, to be honest. Modern Battleship 2 and small modernized dreadnought. I think Modern Battleship 2 is, um, that's going to be the Littorio class. And I might make an exemption to my rule of only being building uh, one battleship on each battleship hull for the sake of uh, 
bringing in some historical designs, which I know some of you like. We got a lot of new ships in here somewhere. That's the Livorno squadron. They are... Um, will you be accompanied by some new battleships anytime soon? Five months for Radina Maria Pia. All right. bring that army logistics down this would actually work and this would speed up meeting strike and convoy so we got some things to do here that's the strike and that's the meeting Donzella Fama Negrona versus Phoenix it is a very slow battlecruiser with a lot of armor. Let's try this, and that will probably be the end of the episode. All right. You are like that. That's that class, and the Euro. And I think the Francesco Stocco with her um, one triple launcher of 20 inch torpedoes just not going to be that useful. As useful as the uh, Euro with bigger torpedoes, more of the torpedoes, and being cheaper. So I'm going to be more willing to actually risk her. You guys also have torpedoes. That could be useful for sinking a uh, very thickly armored uh, battlecruiser. And there she is, in all of her uh, glory. My own battlecruisers will be just um, sailing along. I think that once I spot the light cruiser, I'm gonna focus my big guns on it. There she is. She went invisible. smoke would dissipate. There we go. And the Euro is in a good position to launch. out and uh, one practically dead cruiser sadly the euro might not survive this don't think the euro is gonna survive this But the Euro did score some hits. Was 
Was it the Euro? Yeah, it was the Euro. Flash fires. Euro did the job. And yeah, she might survive this. As you can see, it's quite a lot of armor. But at this range, my 14 inch Mark III guns can actually penetrate it. There she goes. Very nice. And good job by Euro, almost sacrificing herself to uh, bring down a battle cruiser. Not bad. Sweden wants to buy DDs. That's fine. I can sell you DDs. 19% chance to succeed. When I bring in uh, these again, it should go up. We got lucky once this episode. Very lucky taking southern Spain. Mm, yeah, that's gonna be the next episode, I think. Not sure if it's possible for uh, Patinopa to take on a heavy cruiser. Even a cheap one, that's not that good, but still. Let's see. Have we done anything to the... F uh, Army Logistics, 55%. That should help our Moroccan invasion. It should sadly also help the French invasion of um, southern Algeria. So they're probably going to take that back before I can get it as war operations. But, uh, it is what it is. I think we're getting the better part of the deal here with the uh, taking southern Spain. Possibly western Spain also. If their armor logistics is down to 55%. That army force of 160,000 would have the same value as an army force of 80,000, so uh, still not quite enough. I need to be outnumbering them. But the war is still young, and we can certainly do something about that, I think, by sinking the rest of the Spanish navy, which uh, is not a lot. So, yeah, I think we're only going to see maybe one more episode of um, War with Spain. And then there might be another time skip where we try to find another enemy. Which is going to take a while because, as, as you can see, everyone just kind of likes me. <laughs> which is uh, a blessing and a curse. Goodbye and take care.